Okay, welcome back to the channel. I am getting ready to, uh, actually not just me, my wife is over there. Um, Debbie's gonna help me out. Uh, when you're in isolation, what else do you do? I mean, can't, uh, there's so many things you can't do, but this you can do. So if you're an airplane builder, um, I hope you're getting a lot done right now at home. It's uh, because it's a good time, good time to do it. They were talking about it when I was there at Aircraft Spruce a couple weeks ago about how they're managing to stay open and people are still coming and getting parts and getting a lot of work done in their planes, which is like super cool. So we're going to go through the next steps here, um, which is actually starting to build a wing. So all the little things become big things. And so what I do is this is a this is my box of uh, this is my box of blocks um, right there and your workbench and your table are like really important so this straight edge um, right here actually you use this through the entire build you build your your wing against it you build your stab against it you build your fuselage against it um, it's for everything so um, it's really important that you have a nice bench and a really straight edge on the bench and um, Yeah, so on to the next steps All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get the right main spar It's going to go against the fence and then I take my blocks and I use my little boss stitch brad nailer and I will nail the blocks in against the fence to sort of stand the spar up, keep it nice and straight, and then we'll uh, we'll start working on sliding on the ribs. So, all right, we'll get going on that. All right, so I'm going to take a square, a framing square, and I'm going to use that to create a uh, straight edge, 90 degrees to. Uh, we're fence here, and that's where the root rib's going to be. And eventually, we put some blocks in here, and that's what's going to help us make sure the wing is staying square. So, I'll just make a line.
car right here. Alright, so once you get the two spars uh, kind of set up, what you actually do is you, uh, you slide the number five room on the rear spar down here, and then the number four, and then the three, and then the two, and then you go to the tip, and you do the same thing, and you work your way back this way. When you're done, you have all of these put on the rear spar, and then you start lining everything up and clamping it to glue so um, yeah so we'll start uh, we'll start sliding these on and uh, and go from there if you want to start with that we'll start down here
So what we have to do here is we for the both the rear spar and the front spar. For this rib that goes up right here, we have to actually remove some material to make it fit. And the situation I'm looking at is I'm okay on the top. Uh, no problem here. And then when I get down here, the aluminum is actually coming in just underneath. Just in here. So what's going to happen is I actually have to remove um, an eighth of an inch all the way down for the uh, eighth inch gusset, but then I also have to remove a quarter, an eighth, another eighth of an inch, which is going to actually take out this front piece altogether. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to actually add a doubler um, out of quarter inch material just to the, uh, the top part here. And I'll just 45 it down and uh, glue that in here so that I've got, when I take this full quarter inch out, I'm still going to have enough material to, uh, to have this stay intact. So I hope that makes sense to you. If not, um, I think it will um, when I do it. So I didn't really know that was going to happen, but when you're building an airplane, uh, you just go with it. Whatever, uh, whatever comes up, um, it's all about solving things as you go along and maybe maybe that's why I love it so much because I just love solving problems and working through things like that and so uh, yeah so I'll get, I'll get what I need to do that real quick and I think that's probably uh, that's probably where we'll stop for the night so um, yeah all right so I don't know if you can see that or not but I've marked uh, I've marked these where I need to relieve the material back here. You can see the eighth inch and the uh, and the aluminum here. And then up here you can see the same thing. We got the eighth inch and the aluminum. So I actually need to relieve some of this area. So I just kind of blacked it out how I need to do it. But I actually think I'm just going to save that for next time and won't do a whole bunch of cutting um, tonight, but uh, I'll be back um, when the factories close. We have a night shift going right now and uh, it's pretty noisy in here tonight. There's a lot, of, a lot of grinding and stuff going on. So I apologize for, the, uh, for that. Um, being in the video but hey that's just uh this is how it is so i'm gonna stop here for the night and um next time we will uh we'll definitely be jumping into the next uh the next step we'll get this one cut and then we'll get the root rib uh cut um so that it'll fit on here the tip's all good i already checked that one and uh yeah then we'll go from there so uh thanks so much for uh following along I do appreciate it and if you're not a subscriber I invite you to subscribe and as always I'll catch you later